guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here i hope you're having a great day so far so today i'm gonna be doing a mini review and demo of the mac holiday collection palette so i'm gonna be doing some swatches i'm gonna be putting it on my face and i'm gonna break down a little bit of what i know of this uh, palette if you're new here i hope you stay and subscribe for more beauty videos i'm uploading twice a week now and without further ado let's start all right guys, so this is um, what the palette looks like. So it is a stunning packaging. Um, I really love uh, the transparent, um, you know, outside of the package. So it has starts, the rose gold and black. So they're so, so pretty. And then this is the actual palette. So this is the back of it. And it has the names of uh, the shades that it comes in the package. I mean in the palette and so this is what she looks like stunning so sturdy uh, for traveling I really like the packaging of this um, you get a magnetic washer uh, with it and you have a nice size uh, mirror so this one is their start uh, dip face compact this is the medium uh, to deep color so this is what she looks like in the inside. So you're gonna get a bronzer, you're gonna get a blush, and then you're gonna get uh, two highlighters. So one is more uh, gold, as you can see, and one is more pinky. So on Mac's uh, website, they said a palette of star powder, extra dimension blushes, extra dimension skin finishes, and extra dimension bronzing powders in light and medium deep shades. Each shade is star embossed and wrapped in special feature glitzy packaging for full on cinematic impact. Um, it retails for $42. Uh, 52 so I guess this is um, US so I paid at $52 and all tax included it was at 58 and 76 dollars so in the inside of the packaging you get all darling which is a metallic gold and that is um, this shade down here then you're gonna get a snow flush which is a metallic bronze pink then you get a cloudy copper which is this um, a blush and then you get an extra dimension bronzer which is called Delphic um, is described as a copper bronze with gold sparkles so after the description they have a little bit of uh, some claims and they said they're long wearing up to 10 hours they're for all skin types um, and blah 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 whatever so that's that so let's start uh, swatching the first one I'm gonna do is the bronzer which is called again um, Delphic so let's do it here so this is what Delphic, Delphic looks like. I really had to dig into that powder. So as you can see, it's a really nice coppery uh, bronze, um, um, bronzer as described. So that's pretty accurate. Then let's do the blush, which is described as a metallic champagne um, pink. So I don't know about all that. <laughs> so in my swatch, you can see it's really coppery, uh, but in my skin tone, this isn't a blush at all. And you're gonna be able to see that on the um, demo portion of this video. But this is what it looks like. Moving on. Let's do All Darling, which is a golden highlighter. It is a stunning shade. I love this highlighter. And then the last one is this rose, um, really intense and metallic. Um, what's the name of this again? It is um, a snow flush. So now I'm just gonna insert the portion of me applying uh, this palette. So I began with the bronzer. So I took my BH bronzer um, brush. That's the brush that I always use with 
every single bronzer that I have. Uh, so you're gonna be able to see that it's a really nice shade. So I was quite happy to see that it worked really nicely with my skin tone. It didn't lean too cool, too warm. I think it's very, very neutral on my skin tone at least. I really liked uh, the color of it. The only thing that I have to say about this bronzer is that I really had to like build it up. Are you gonna be able to see that? I'm like digging and digging and digging into this powder to get like full pigment and I don't think I ever gotten like full pigment out of it. Um, I do like how it looks but I don't think that it has a ton of um, color to it and I think that this powder is a little bit too hard so you really had to like I said you really have to work <laughs> with it but it's not a super soft uh, formula so that doesn't give you any kickback if you like that kind of like stiff <laughs> powder kind of formula then you you're really gonna enjoy this um to me i'm not really crazy about this i have so many bronzers and this one isn't my favorite to be quite honest but if i do take this tra um, palette traveling then that's a, just a one-stop shop so i'll be happy to use it then i went ahead and use my Morphe uh, blush brush which is an angle brush again is the uh, brush that I always use for all my blushes and I use the shade uh, cloudy copper so this is described as a coppery pinky um, kind of blush but as you guys can see it doesn't show up at all so on my skin tone it doesn't show up no matter how many times I I went back and tried to build it up it just doesn't show up so to be quite honest I don't like this as a blush I don't know if I can use it as a highlighter because I think it's a little bit too uh, deep for my skin tone so what I think that I'm gonna use this for is to um, so I'll use a bronzer and then I'll use this one to give it a little bit of a sheen and then you know to make it a little bit glowy and then I think I'll be able to make it work um, then I went ahead and I used my color pop um, highlighter brush this is a uh, brush that packs on a lot of product and I really like that about that brush so that's why I picked that one um, so I went first with Old Darling as you guys can see it's as described a really golden highlighter but it is super pretty I'm in love with this one and to be quite honest this is the reason why I wanted to pick up the palette because I wanted Old Darling for a long time but I didn't want to you know buy it in a compact I thought it was too much product and I have so many highlighters so whenever I saw that it was in this uh, palette I'm like yes I'm gonna pick that up so really really in love with Old Darling and then uh, last I use a uh, snow flush um again this one is a really interesting um kind of highlighter it is really pink but um it is very powdery so it's gonna give you a lot of kickback um you're gonna see that on my demo i'm like um cleaning my palette as i go um uh, but i really like the um the pinky highlight that you get out of it so i'm not really mad at it I, so that last highlighter is just gonna come down to uh just personal preference if you really like pink highlighters you're gonna love this one and it has a little bit of um glitter but it is really micro so it's really really micro it's not like it's gonna go everywhere that's why i really liked it when i was in store trying to figure it out if i was gonna get the palette or not uh the girl actually put it on all over my face and i was able to you know like make a decision on it so she told me you know try it as a highlighter but also put it on your eyelids um that day i was only wearing my wing liner so i actually went ahead and built it up with my finger and i that it was so so precious so you're gonna see in my demo as well I did that so I only had like crease color on my uh, crease and then I went ahead with my finger and put it all over my eyelid and this is what it looks like so what do you guys think 
I actually like the flush of pink that it gives you. It doesn't have a ton of uh, pigmentation. I then went ahead and also used my MAC uh, packing brush, the 242. Um, and actually, I went ahead and wet it. Yeah, I forgot to say that. So I wet it. And when I wet it, that's when um, the color actually built up. So like if you're able to see here in the, you know, the beginning of my eyelid, that's all just this shade. I don't have anything else on it so I think it's quite quite pretty I really like um, my eye look I really like it so I think um, if you don't like this pink highlighter you can use it as an eyeshadow so to wrap up this uh, mini review I don't know how long it is um, I think I am really happy with my purchase I think that is a really Dirty palette. I think I can take it traveling. I'm gonna be happy with every single product. The only product that I'm gonna like really add to this uh, if I take it traveling will be a blush because this one, as I mentioned, it doesn't work for my skin tone. So I'll use you know bronzer and then I'll give my bronzer a glow with this Capri blush. Um, and then these two highlighters, I think they're super pretty. I am so so happy, especially with Old Darling. I'm so so happy I have it so if you already have all darling in your collection I don't know if you're gonna need this palette but if you're someone like me that wanted all darling but didn't want to beat the bullet um, and then you just want to try some of the max um, formulas and I think you're gonna really enjoy this palette um, as I said the bronzer is not like the best thing in the world but it gets the job done like is whatever um and the other powders are pretty so i think so there's so many in this holiday collection from mac i was like overwhelmed as usual they have so many uh you know the little lipstick little glosses they're all coming like really pretty packaging the packaging on all of their holiday collections were super super pretty but nothing really drew me in as much as the palette um I don't really like gloss that much and the colors of the lipsticks I didn't like. I really like the packaging but I couldn't, you know, like justify it just to get a lipstick for the packaging. I didn't really like the colors. Um, and one that I liked, I think it was sold out already. Uh, so that's why I didn't end up getting anything else from the collection, only this one. If you guys have any recommendations and something that you really think I need to try, let me know and then I'll eye it again and I'll think about it. Uh, the other palette the light to medium palette um, it was also really pretty but it had a really light um, shade that it didn't work for my skin tone so it was like a holographic kind of um, shade but again the girl that Max said you know you could use it as an eyeshadow why but not? I didn't think I needed that one so that's why I just um, stuck with this one so if you have a lighter complexion I think you may want to check that one out just to make sure you know but this one I think even if you're really light I think it's gonna work for you as well because as you guys can see like even the blush it didn't work for my skin tone and this is the medium to, t uh, to deep palette right so I just wanted to do this review just in case you were eyeing one of this palette I don't think uh, you need to really like run and get it I don't think it is a necessity um, I mean <laughs> let's get real makeup isn't a necessity at all but I mean I don't think it's anything like so spectacular that you need to go and buy it um, but I'm happy I have it I'm gonna use it and yeah that's my review <laughs> alright guys so that was it for today I hope you enjoyed my mini review of the Star Dip Face Compact Palette from MAC. Please let me know, uh, have you picked up anything from the collection, from the holiday collection at all? Is there anything that I'm missing out on? Let me know in the comments below. Also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video and don't forget to subscribe for more beauty videos and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye now.